Greetings YouTube, Fuzz here, welcome back to Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age, and in today's video, we're going to be taking on one of the game's ultimate super bosses, Amiga Mark XII. Stay tuned. We left off previously at the blue save point in the Great Crystal after opening all the required gates that we need to access Amiga Mark 12. And as I suggested in the video that we've just, you know, gone through, where we go through that path on how to reach this boss, I did point out that you will need to have the Yasmut Hunt accepted before you can actually fight this guy. So if you don't have that for whatever reason, then you will need to go and pick that up from Mont Blanc and then just come back. But don't worry because all the gates and that we've opened will still be there ready for us to go and face the boss as they say. Uh, but whether this will be a pretty boss or not in terms of the encounter, I don't think so because this is quite a challenge. So in terms of the setup that I'm going for, pretty standard strategy actually for this boss and that is we're going to be using a character that has berserk so that they'll be doing lots of damage bravery but most importantly decoy and reverse that way uh, the damage from the boss which uses mainly one attack called laser or it is a laser attack i don't know if it's called laser which normally two shots any character basically this is going to go ahead and heal our reversed character our tank and we need to keep the other two uh, people, which are going to be ranged characters in my case, Ash and Pinello, at well ranged, quite frankly, so they don't get hit by the laser attack. And then, if we can keep our Berserk character healed up with reverse, and hopefully, then they will be able to solo the entire fight. I have given Varn, who's going to be my tank, the Gendarm shield because that evade is very useful. And the Genji helm and the Genji armor are also nice for extra attacks. Genji glove would be really good as well because you'll be comboing so much there. But without the bubble belt, it's just too risky. You just get killed too easily. So you do need to have that maximum amount of health. Now, a lot of people say that you do need to be level 99 to take on this encounter. As you can see, I'm not level 99, nor do I agree that you need to be. One of the downsides to not being max level is that you can't really have as much success with the wither ability. Laser, the main damage that this boss does, can be reduced, the damage can be reduced with wither. And if you can get this stacked a lot, then you'll basically nullify this foe completely, so he won't even be doing anything in terms of damage. The problem is, wither, along with all of these stat reducing abilities, uh, one of the main things that determine their success rate when it's cast is the level of the caster compared to the level of the target. Now in this case, the target is going to be level 99, but because we're uh, just about 30 levels below that, our uh, wither success chance is going to be drastically reduced. So I do have a wither character set up, might give it a try at the start of the battle, but if we see too many misses... Uh, I mean, Valthea is probably going to die, quite frankly, anyway. But if we get too many misses, then we'll just forget with her and go straight with our Berserk character. In terms of what my other gambits are for Ash and Pinello, Ash is going to be uh, a rising. So should our characters die, which I hope that won't be happening. That won't be happening too much, but should that be the case, she can do that. Then she's going to be reversing and decoying primarily on Varn and then casting Bravery on him to boost his damage. And then as long as these three uh, situations are active, then she can also be casting Haste car and Protect the car. I will not be using Shalgar because that actually reduces the chance of reverse hitting, so that will be staying off. And then she's using single target cures. So you can either use Cure Agar or Renew. Both are very good. Just bear in mind that with Renew, uh, if you cast that on a reversed character, you are going to one-shot them, so try not to uh, do that. In fact, I'm just going to reduce this to 40%, so it's not being spammed because of the MP costs involved in such an ability. And then for Pinello, she's also going to be casting Reverse and Decoy on Varn, so that we can keep that Reverse up pretty much at all time. It's so important. I do recommend Reverse before Decoy in the order list. And she's going to be keeping Bacchus's Wine active on Varn as well, which I keep the Berserk status active and oh I do need to change that don't want Cura a jar I guess we'll choose Renew see how we get on but if she starts one shotting the tank then obviously we need to change that uh, the only other thing with Varn obviously his gambits are going to be pretty pointless because he's going to be in Berserk status but I will just turn on this gambit self Barkus is wine so if uh, Berserk does come off because he's just been resurrected then uh, he can get that up while Ash is buffing him with other things and then her putting Berserk on Varn is lower down in the list, so hopefully she won't be using that all that much. 
But that's pretty much the setup I'm going to be using. So we'll see how we get on. Right, so in order... Did I keep bringing the map up? There's absolutely no point in this place in doing so. Uh, in order to reach the boss, we did open all the gates in the last video from the save point. So it shouldn't be too much of a challenge. But then this is the Great Crystal. So who knows. So here we are at the blue save point. And you've got the three paths in front of you that are quite close to each other. Just behind us you have the single path that's not really close to the other exits. That's the one we're going to go down. And I'm just trying to be a little bit cautious now. I'm going to turn Scaith on for the time being on Pinello. Because I don't want to be uh, getting one shot by the other enemies in this place before we actually get to where we're supposed to be going. That would be a bit embarrassing, wouldn't it? Okay, this takes us to a waypoint, which we're going to ignore. Speed things up a touch. And this waypoint should only have one exit, I believe. Oh no, that, that's it. Yeah, we used this waystone. This is number 17. Get myself confused already. This will take us to waystone. No, sorry, that's 18. And it'll take us to 17. That's what we want. And then we need to go through the Virgo gate that we opened. Unfortunately, I apologise again. I did open the uh, wrong Virgo gate in the last video. So it's a slightly extra... Oh, stop opening the map detour that we need to take. But it's really not that, you know, that much longer. So we're going to head down here. Speed things up again while there's no enemies. And we're going to take the right gate. Since this is the Virgo gate that we opened. Down this path. And then here we're going to take... So there's the Virgo gate gone. Yeah, some of these enemies can be a pain without ribbon equipped, unfortunately. I'll just heal up. Oh, that was painful, all those status elements. Uh, I'm exactly in the same place, though, as when I just paused the video. So from this exit, we're going to take the left exit here. That's where the Virgo path was that we've now made our way through. This will take us into the Libra gate stone. And we're going to go left again here. And the Capricorn gate stone is open. So I'll just check where we are. We're in Aldobi, Gilam, Prativar or something. That's right. And we want to go right. That's the other Virgo gate stone. You see the one that I should have opened. It would have made things a little bit easier. But I didn't. Do we need to heal up? Okay. And now at this point, we're just going straight. Straight, straight, straight all the way. And... Uh, oh, we can't go straight here. Where are we? Udoba. Let me just get my bearings again. Oh, no, we're good. We, this is where the Taurus Gate Stone was. So this is where we just came down. And we're just going to go down the right exit here. And this should take us to the waystone now, and it's all linear from this point to the boss. Oh boy, need to put uh, a sooner guy back on. Oh, yeah, it is on. Okay, wonderful. So this waystone now is a very linear path to the boss. Status ailments aren't a big deal on this boss, by the way, so we don't need ribbons on him. But obviously going up to the boss, these guys do kind of suck with their negative status stuff. Okay, completely linear from this point. Just follow the path. Only one path. There we go. Use the waystone. This will take us to the final waystone. And then the next area after this waystone that we take will be the boss in question. So make sure you sort your gambits out. And I am going to risk, I think, trying this Balthea thing. But it might not work, so we'll see how we get on. Right, so I've turned my gambits on. Uh, let's just go ahead and swap out Van for Balthea for the time being. And let me just check what Balthea is going to be doing. He should just be doing Expose for now. I mean, with her even, which is what he is doing. So that's fine. In fact, I do just quickly need to change this over to Balthy. I'm going to have to just change them over then again. Once we've got him exposed enough. And he don't need that. 
So now my gambits are sorted. So we need to keep our range characters away. Oh boy. Looks like we've got some status ailments going into this fight now. Ah, there's Amiga. So if Balth, if you could actually go in there, please. Uh, he's got Berserk on. Why's he got Berserk? I did turn that off, didn't I? Oh, I know why he's got Berserk. That's because this guy actually uses Berserk on his abilities. So just checking that nobody's going to be casting Berserk on him. No. So we'll go to ally Berserk and get rid of that, I think. With, you can only get rid of it with this spell, though, I believe. So if we go to um, ally. Where's Berserk? Should be around here somewhere. There it is. But we'll have to turn this off then when we want the Berserk going off. And we're going to go on to Dispel here. And it might Dispel Reverse, which is a problem, but we'll see how we get on. This could be painful, but who knows. Let's try and... Why are we not getting that Berserk off? Uh, who did I give that to? Oh, it's you. Yeah, need to get it up a little bit higher. Okay. Let's put it there. Ah, oh boy. So this isn't going too good at the moment. So if we can get people resurrected. Problem is she's going to get one shot. Okay, can we get Balthea resurrected, please? Okay. Have we got reverse active? Yes, we have. Okay, you heal me. Let's try and get some withers off now, please. Yeah, no surprise with the misses there. But if we can get this wither down and to activate a few times, then we'll be laughing, really. While you're doing that, let's move some of these characters out of the way here. Just keep those spells active. Okay, we need to uh, be careful because Pinello is curing here, which is what we don't want. Yeah, as you can see, we are... Oh, she got hit. As you can see, we are getting hit with... Uh, we are missing with these withers, which is the problem. And that's because of the level difference. So you can hit this boss with wither. It's just hard. Quite frankly. Stop healing. I'm going to turn that stupid healing gambit off on Pinello. It's just a complete waste of time. I don't even know why it's on there. If we could just get one or two withers off, that would make a big difference, you see. But you can see how the reverse tactic works, can't you? Try and keep your range characters really at range. Yeah, I can't seem to do this with uh, Balthier, so I think we are going to go ahead. And swap him out for Varn and just get on with the show. Now he's got Berserk. If he can die, maybe, that would be a help. He's died but resurrected again quickly. I can't. Get lured, active or something, please. Uh, I can't. If we can get Balthier out of here, actually. Then we should be able to get Varna. At the moment, he's getting all his buffs on him, so that's not happening. Can we exit this place? Okay, I just cannot get the wither tactic to work, sadly, because of that level difference. But I'm going to show you anyway that you don't need it. Oh, man. Why is there enemies here now? Look, turn wither off, please. Wither's great when it works. Kill. Ridiculous. Okay, I've just gone back into the area with the boss. 
So we should be able to get rid of Balth here now and being Varney. This guy, by the way, is level 99, as you know, as I've said. Uh, he's got about, uh, I think it's uh, 1,300,000 health. Something along those lines. So yeah, it can take a bit of a, a beating. But in the Japanese version, the original Japanese version, he had like 10 million health. So just be thankful that that's not what he's got anymore. Okay, so put that on Varn. Uh, obviously we want to turn that off now because we do want him to have a bit of the old Berserk action going on. Yep, so we want that. Yep, want all that. Except this we want on Varn. So yeah, he is going to be doing his attacks at full power, sadly. And we're going to take Varn in now. We're going to put him as leader for a moment. Has he got decoy? Okay, and with that on, let's go ahead and turn on his self Bacchus Wine thingy. And really try and keep everyone else at range of these attacks. And then hopefully, Varn is going to do a lot of the damage here. As long as we can keep that reverse active, let's just get a little bit closer. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. See, we was just a little bit too far at range at that point. Obviously, we need to be far away enough to protect our range casters, but not so far away that we can't actually buff our character as we need to. So, look, he's going down now. He's going down. Oh, boy, this is uh, stressful. If things do start to go you know, to pop. It is possible that you can quickly run up a little bit and heal up, and he won't restore his health. But if you stay away for longer than I think it's 20 seconds, then he does. So we're doing some good damage here. I'm just going to show you to confirm Varn's equipment here since he's tanking. Again, I have shown you, but the Kumbar and the Gendarm Shield. The Gendarm Shield you get from this particular dungeon. I've got a video that shows you how to get that. And then you've got the Kumbar, which is crafted, and again, I've made a video showing you how to craft that. It does a lot of damage, especially when it combos. And if you can use the Wither technique, because you're high enough level, and you don't need to use Bubble Belt, because you've reduced his damage, then equip the Genji Glove, and he'll be go going down even faster than he is here. But as you can see with this particular tactic, it took a bit of setting up. And at least I've learned the hard way that at lower level, Wither's just not worth it. But even so, even without Wither, at full damage, this guy is not too much of a problem. Because he's basically healing your tank anyway, due to keeping Reverse up the whole time. So just keep your characters at range, or they will get obliterated. Your range characters, and obviously they've got very little in the way of defence against this guy. Since they're not Reversed. I don't know of any other easy way of killing this guy because without reverse, his attacks are just too quick and you just get killed, slaughtered immediately. So he is going down. I'm going to probably just throw a couple while we can of uh, high ethers around the place because I don't want Ash and Penelo to be charging, mainly Ash, uh, when she needs to be casting things like reverse and stuff. So we'll just try and keep her MP up nicely here. Remember, reverse isn't guaranteed, which is why you do want to support casters set up to do it. Uh, who's Ash renewing? I hope she's not renewing Varn because that would be very stupid. I mean, it would be stupid on my part for giving her renew, but obviously it is needed for when your range casters go down. But I'm probably just going to disable it now since we've got a good system going of keeping them alive. So we don't want to be casting renew on Varm when his health drops in between reverses. So look, reverse was activated then, and because I've disabled those renew gambits, he wasn't uh, attacked with that renew spell. Ah, uh, look at this. You can basically just go AFK once you've set it all up correctly. 
It's interesting. I saw a lot of uh, tactics of what other people have been using. And so many of them were like, you've got to be level 99 or you will not stand a chance. You cannot do this without Wither. But nah, it's just not true. Yeah, it makes things a little bit easier, but let's be honest. This isn't exactly difficult now that we've set it all up correctly, is it? I mean, okay, the damage that Varn's outputting here is at Magnificent. It's not like 10, 11k as he does on some other enemies, but that's the level difference again. This guy's defences are very high. What's important is that we are whittling him down bit by bit. So. And the good thing about this boss is that he doesn't really have any other tricks up his sleeve. Occasionally things will go wrong if you can't get a good reverse off in time. Or if it misses and... Then your tank dies and then he starts one-shotting everyone else. But I've got to be honest, so far we haven't really experienced that. There he goes, look. Well, that was actually an easier fight than Zodiac. In my experience, anyway. Great stuff, so our super boss is down, at least one of our two super bosses. Got Yes Mac to come, of course. But yes, we get our congratulations screen. Now, most importantly, this guy always drops an item uh, that you can use, that you can sell, along with a couple of other items from other hard bosses at the bazaar. And then you'll be able to uh, craft the uh, worm blade. Great sword. So, make sure you do pick that up. We'll go ahead and make sure that we're not getting Barkus's wine because we've still got to make our way out of this place. And I'm going to show you how to do that, don't worry. I wouldn't leave you in here. It's a terrible uh, situation, isn't it, to be lost in the Great Crystal. Not something we like at all. Uh, let's just turn all our curing stuff back on. I'm just going to sort my gambits out. Mightyo. So, there's the Amiga badge. That's the one that we wanted to get. And there's nothing else really to do here. In fact, I think this is going to be our final time actually making our way through the Great Crystal. So you'll be pleased to hear that, no doubt. And we're just going to have to start by making our way once again through the linear sections of the dungeon. The initial section to making our way to Amiga, if you remember, was linear. and use the waystone. Let's just go ahead. Oh, bring Pinello back up. Dum de dum. Looks like we're not getting out of this one. Let's just speed things up. Oh, this is where you get hundreds of them, isn't it? Good job I put ribbon back on. Otherwise this could be pretty painful. It's a good job you get auto save in the Zodiac Age. I mean, in the original Final Fantasy XII, you could kill that boss, forget to sort your gambits out afterwards, and then get one shot by all this trash afterwards, couldn't you? That'd make you very, very angry, I think. You wouldn't be in the best of moods if that happened, would you? Oh, come on, let's just get out of here. Well, so this should take us to Waystone number 13. Let's check that I've got that right, yes. So this is again, just a linear path. Taking us to Waystone number 12. No, 22. 22 and 23, not 13 and 12. This should take us to 21. Yep, don't want to touch it though. So it should just have one path out of it. It does. And then the next platform should also have one, just one path to the left. Yep, we'll go down here. Next up we want to go straight across this one. 
Then we want to go left. And then we want to go uh, right. That's the lead for gate stone. Then we want to go right again, a hard right. And then we want to go left. Then we get to a waystone. We use this. Yep, we want to do uh, this one for sure. And this should bring us back up to the blue save crystal, but don't worry, I'm going to show you how to get out even from here. Into the next section with the crystal. Oh, phew. I was panicking then, it hadn't spawned. But now there it is. Right, so from here we want to take the first right. So just to confirm, at the save crystal room, the exit we came down is an exit by itself. Then there's kind of three exits all close together. We take the rightmost one. And this should take us back to Waystone 20. And this is where things get confusing, because we need to get to Waystone 10, but there's so many exits off this platform. It always knocks me for six and throws me. Ah, oh, first things first, now we need to actually use the Waystone itself to get to Waystone. 20. So we use this one. And now we need to find Waystone 10. Right, so this is the one with all the gate stones. So let me just try and see if I can get my bearings here. This is Sagitt sorry, Sagittarius number 2. Okay, so that's the one on the right-hand side. I believe that's one on the right-hand side. I hope it is. So if we get that onto the right-hand side, then it would mean that the exit we want is this way. So to the right of gate Sagittarius number 2, or, if you've got Gate Sagittarius number 1 open, that's over there, in that central exit. And we want this one. I believe so, anyway. That could be uh, on the left of my map. So I guess we'll find out in a moment. Uh, yeah, no, we don't want that one. <laughs> okay, so ignore everything I just said. Oh, now there's enemies here. There would be, wouldn't there? So that's actually... Uh, the left of my map. Sagittarius number two is on the left. Which means we don't want that exit. We want this one. It's got to be this one. Who designed this place, please? Yeah, there it is. Waste number ten. Now, unfortunately, this is going to bring us back out into another platform that's completely linear. See, so look, only one exit. And then this will take us to Waystone number 8, which will get us out of the Great Crystal, hopefully, once and for all. This is the last time we have to be here. I believe it is. I truly believe it is. We've got all the magics, all the treasures. We've killed the optional Esper. We've killed the boss. We've done the story. We've collected enough Gendarms to make me happy. I'm never coming to back to this place ever again in my entire life, I've decided. Well, folks... That pretty much, I think, brings us to the end of this episode with Trapped. No, the game's like, you will come back. No, I won't. Uh, that brings us back to the end of this episode. So thanks for joining me today, guys. Um, I hope this video was helpful for you. And good luck in taking down Amiga. Let me know in the comments how you get on as well. And come back soon, and we'll carry on with more Final Fantasy XII. We've still got a lot more content to cover in this game, including the game's hardest super boss. I mean, someone would consider, would consider Amiga to be the hardest, but I guess we'll see from experience when we try the next Super Boss ourselves, which is EF Matt. So come back and join me, guys, and I'll see you soon. Until then, take care.